Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on graph traversal in data structures or our design and analysis of algorithm course. Graph traversing means visiting all the vertices of a graph exactly once. That is nothing but graph traversing. So there are uh, two types of graph traversal techniques are there. First one is BFS and second one is DFS. Okay. Now we go for BFS. BFS stands for breadth first search. Okay. Next one BFS algorithm traverses the graph in breadthward motion. So here Traverses means visiting all the vertices of a graph exactly once is nothing but traversing. Okay. BFS algorithm traverses the graph in breadthward motion. What is breadthward motion? Suppose we are taking this graph. Okay. This graph contains six vertices. So level one. So level one contains so one vertex and level two contains three vertices and level three contains only two vertices. Level one contains vertex A, level two contains three vertices B, C, D, level three contains uh, two vertices E and F. Okay, breadthward motion means in BFS breadth first search technique, we have to visit the vertices of a graph in a level by level order. First, we have to visit the vertex in level 1, that is A. After that, visiting all the vertices in level 2, B, C, D. After that, visiting all the vertices in level 3, that is vertex E and vertex F. So the order of BFS is A, B, C, D, E, F. In this way, we have to visit all the vertices in a given graph. So that type of uh, motion is called as breadthward motion. So this is nothing but level by level ordering of visiting of vertices in a graph. First level 1 vertices are visited. After that, it goes to level 2 vertices are visited. After that, it goes to level 3 vertices are visited. So, because of that reason, we can say that BFS can visit the vertices in a given graph in a level by level order. Okay, next one. Q data structure is used to implement breadth first search technique. Q follows a principle called FIFO, first in, first out. Which element is entered into the Q? That element is out from the Q. That is called as first in, first out. Okay, next one. BFS produces a spanning tree as output. So, input for BFS is given graph. Output from the BFS is spanning tree. Okay. So, BFS produces a spanning tree as output. So, this is the input that can be sent to the BFS. The output is spanning tree. BFS spanning tree. Next one. Maximum size of a queue is equal to the number of vertices in a given graph. Okay. So, to implement the BFS technique, we have to use a data structure called queue data structure. So now, what is the size of the queue we have to take in? So that can be determined by the number of vertices in a given graph. Okay, suppose this is the given graph. In that given graph, six vertices are there. Okay, to implement BFS technique for this graph, we have to take the queue of size six. Okay, because number of vertices in a given graph is equal to six. Next, we are already uh, said that Q follows a principle called first in, first out. 
which element is entered into the queue first that element is taken from the queue first next one there are two operations that can be performed on the queue first one is nq and the second one is dq nq means inserting an element into the queue and dq means deleting an element from the queue okay next one uh, the time complexity of breadth first search technique is so big o of b plus e big o of b plus e here b is nothing but number of vertices in a given graph e is nothing but number of edges in a given graph next one breadth first search technique uh, produces a optimal solution okay so next one uh, the following algorithm is used to get the spanning tree for the given graph g using bfs so this is the algorithm we have to use to implement uh, bfs technique first step one visit the starting vertex and make it as visited okay so in that graph uh, what is the starting vertex starting vertex is a okay next display the vertex so vertex a is displayed next one set a pointer to the starting vertex okay whatever the vertex that we have to select that that vertex is called as starting vertex set a pointer to the starting vertex that vertex is called as currently working vertex next step 2 if currently working vertex has adjacent unvisited vertices or not okay suppose this is the currently working vertex capital a so this capital a vertex has any unvisited adjacent vertices so here b c d are the unvisited adjacent vertices among the three vertices first we have to take vertex b okay visit the adjacent unvisited vertex and make it as visited now we have to visit vertex b okay insert it into a queue okay next one display it okay so if this condition is uh, for true these block of statements can be executed if this condition is false then go to the else part update the pointer to the first element of the queue next remove the first element from the queue here we have to use dq operation here we have to use nq operation this is nq operation inserting an element into a queue for that purpose we have to use nq data structure remove the first element from the queue we have to use dq data structure either this step is performed or this step is performed after that uh, repeat step 2 until queue is empty okay so either this step or this step can be performed until queue is empty okay so this is the algorithm we have to use to implement breadth first search technique now we go for one